Hey guys, it's Foxfro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be telling you guys how to join the Enclave in this guide and how to become a Enclave General, Enclave Captain, I think it's Enclave General. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the locations and kind of talk about the quest progression. I won't be able to do a full on walkthrough, uh, but you should be able to go to the location that I show you guys and start the quest and then kind of just follow the quest until um, next steps but in case you do get lost in the quest order i'll go ahead and have that linked in the description so you can go ahead and follow that along but yeah i'll go ahead and show you guys where you can go ahead and get the enclave quest line started to become a member so first we want to go ahead and head over to the very right part of the map and there's going to be a cave right here called the abandoned waste dump uh, most likely you won't have this place discovered if you never joined the enclave or maybe you do but you just never found the item inside um, but yeah, so we want to go ahead and travel to the abandoned waste dump, which is like right next to these deer on the map, all the way on the farthest right side. And we'll go ahead and fast travel there. All right, so we have arrived at the location and there's going to be a little bit of radiation at the front, but we can go around to just avoid the radiation and kind of take a shortcut right here. And do be warned, inside this cavern, there are actually, uh, I think at least two death claws that spawn in here. So <laughs> be prepared. And these radiation barrels are inactive, so no need to like put on any radiation resistance. Uh, the barrels inside right here, you can just kind of walk by without any radiation. But now that we're inside the cave, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the back of the cave where the elevator is. Elevator is right there, and I'm just going to kind of ignore the death claws for this guide. Uh, but this is where the elevator is, and it's currently not functional, but we want to go ahead and make a left to of the elevator. We're going to take a left right here. Go down this way and through here in the far back left there's going to be a suitcase and a dead uh, agent and i've already joined the enclave and became a general so the item isn't here for me but there's going to be a quest item in here but essentially the the uh, quest that is going to start is called bunker buster so yeah so once you look at this body bunker buster quest should start and that is pretty much the beginning of joining the enclave um, and then we're not done with the cave quite yet. Next, we need to find a pretty much a uh, another pile, another item in here, which is going to be in a death claw pile. And this is where the death claw nest is. It's pretty close to the other locations. So all the way down that way in the far left corner, this is where we would find the first body to get the quest line started. That's the elevator up there. And then in the back corner, back left corner here, we have this death claw nest. And I already picked up the hollow tape, but there's going to be an item called a bypass hollow tape. You want to go ahead and grab that and it should have like a little quest icon or quest diamond next to it. Now that we have the hollow tape and we have the quest started, we can go all the way back to the elevator. And at the elevator, we can go ahead and open it. And you pretty much just want to go ahead and play the hollow tape while you're in the elevator. And playing this hollow tape will give you access to the Enclave Bunker. So I'll go ahead and activate the secure access panel since I've already done this. All right, so once out of the elevator, you just want to go down these steps, make a right down these steps and just keep going straight through this door. And then once you're like in this little kitchen area, you just want to take the front door right here and it's gonna have uh it's gonna be like next to this little shelf once you get through here there's gonna be a laser grid door and this laser grid is not gonna be open for you if this is your first time in the enclave so we have to find out a way on how to disable the laser grid so we want to go ahead and back out a little bit more and we actually want to go up to the room that is above us and there's gonna be a desk there and that desk is gonna have clues for how we can actually reset the laser grid so I'm going to go ahead and backtrack and go into here and we can go up these steps and now we're above the room and right in here there's going to be a desk, I think it's in the other room, yeah over here and in this desk there should be a note that will kind of update your quest marker and let you know uh, what you have to do for your next steps to disable the, or I guess like reset the laser grid, that'll let you go ahead and go in. So once you do that, you follow the quest and you get in, you should be able to get through the hand scanner, the laser grids, and then we can go in through this way. Your quest marker will tell you to collect some items that'll be in this room, which will then allow you to get the code for this keypad. 
Once you input the correct numbers in the keypad, you'll be able to loot a Enclave keycard. And then now you'll just have to travel to the actual Enclave bunker, which is going to be at the White Spring Resort. So we'll go ahead and go over here to the White Spring Resort. And right below it is the White Spring Bunker. So I'm going to go ahead and fast travel there now. All right. And then once you have arrived at the bunker, this is what the main entrance looks like. And we just want to go ahead and go into the interior. All right. And once we're inside, there's going to be another laser grid door. But now that we have the Enclave key card, we'll actually be able to just swipe. And then you'll be able to actually enter the Enclave itself, which is actually inside this vault. So go ahead and use the vault to access controls here. And once the vault opens up, this is the Enclave. So welcome to the Enclave. And the quest line will keep progressing and updating and uh, you'll just have to kind of explore the Enclave a little bit, follow the quest line, and from here you will become a Enclave member. Uh, once you're an Enclave member, you do unlock the ability to buy serum recipes and you also unlock the other vendors, um, which are I believe on the lower levels. Let me go through here. Once you're a member, you should be able to come through that grid door and use these elevators. And I'll go ahead and show you guys where the vendors are real quick. You can use this elevator and we'll come out here. And, and if we make a left and we go down this way, like all of these different areas will have different vendors. So in production, we have a different set of vendors. If we were to go down into the science wing, there'd be different vendors as well. And this is what the vendors look like essentially. And you can just buy different different things depending on what you're interested in for from the enclave all right so the military wing is still not fully unlocked and you also don't have access to the nuclear silos or the x1 power armor plans until you become a enclave general so now let's talk about becoming an enclave general uh, most people or I guess some people will already have this step completed but if you don't let's go ahead and take a detour away from the white spring bunker and actually go to camp McClintock uh, at Camp McClintock, there is a um, a gutsy inside the main building, and when you talk to that gutsy, you will go ahead and start a quest line, and you'll pretty much get registered for the military. It's a little bit of a long quest, um, but you're going to need it for some other quests in this game, so you might as well get it done while joining the Enclave. And once you do the quest line called Back to Basic at Camp McClintock, uh, then you can go ahead and start a Enclave quest line called Officer on Deck. And you pretty much just have to go back to the White Spring Bunker and re-enter the Enclave to go ahead and start this quest line. The way you get this quest line uh, after becoming uh, after Camp McClintock is to go to the military wing. So we're gonna go ahead and navigate there and just use the signage and it'll kind of help you uh, find your way around. So right here on our left is the military wing. So the elevators are right here. If you were to come out of the elevator, make a left, make another left right here. Military wing, go down this way. And then we have the military wing here. And as you enter, uh, the quest should start. If not, then um, you can go ahead and activate one of these terminals. And after you talk to the terminal, you're gonna get a, the quest will update and you'll actually get the quest to become a Enclave General. And uh, it's gonna pretty much say that you need to get 10 commendations in order to reach the level of general and there's gonna be multiple ways to actually get these commendations i'll go ahead and pull them up right now on screen so the 10 commendations are right here so we have the combat commendation for every legendary creature one or two star you kill you'll gain one commendation high risk combat commendation for every legendary creature three star you kill you will gain two commendations bunker support extermination complete an extermination operation mission for the enclave and you will gain two commendations bunker support patrol complete a robot patrol mission for the Enclave and gain one commendation. Bunker support resource drop, complete a resource drop mission for the Enclave and earn one commendation for each. And once you finish the 10 commendations, you'll essentially be promoted to the rank of general and then you'll gain access to I Am Become Death, which is pretty much um, how you can run silos. So you'll actually gain access to enter the silos and you'll also have access to a terminal or a computer in the Enclave that will give you the X01 power armor plans. And uh, that post or website that I was using for reference is 100% accurate to uh, how the quest line is. So on top of that, an alternative is just killing Scorched Beasts. And it's one co commendation for each Scorched Beast killed. And um, you know, if you find like a legendary variant, you could technically get more commendations per Scorched Beast. But just a regular Scorched Beast is one commendation. So the best way and the method that I use to farm the commendations is essentially just hunting down Scorch Beasts. Um, so you want to go ahead and look at all the fissure sites that you have discovered on the map and also the main fissure site down here 
by the queen will spawn like up to three scorched beasts if you're on like a fresh server or if they haven't been killed recently so you can go down to fissure site prime there's going to be like three scorched beasts there you could also go to like a fissure site over here there's going to be a lot of fissure sites all over the map so i'll go ahead and have that linked in the description so that way you can pinpoint all the fissure sites but if you wanted you could just go ahead uh, server hop fissure site prime since it's up to three uh, Scorch Beast can spawn at that one spot at the same time. So, you know, server hop there maybe like three or four times. Uh, probably need to be about four times if all three spawn, and then you can get your 10 Scorch Beast kills. Um, and yeah, then you'll become a general, and then you'll be able to just access the silos really easily. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you where the silos are really quick. Uh, Site Charlie is going to be down here on the map by this 102 number and then bravo is going to be up here by the b in between the b and this 105 is site alpha bravo is actually going to be a bit higher right below this 97 next to this mountain and so if you don't have the silos discovered already then you can travel to those locations and once you get to them there will be an elevator that will take you down into the silo and now that you're on enclave general you'll actually be able to access it and I'll go ahead and make a video on running a silo and launching a nuke and all that good stuff uh, shortly after this video. Um, and last but not least, I'll go ahead and show you guys where the X1 power armor terminal is. So now that you're a general, we can go up into command and you'll see that there's more um, terminals here and we can go into this armory section and there's going to be more vendors here. Um, one important thing is that when you do become a uh, enclave general, you're going to get this item called a missile silo state holotape. Make sure to hold on to that. If you ever lose it, you can buy it back right here for 970 caps, uh, and the caps will vary depending on your charisma. But it essentially lets you know like how what the silo status is on the server, and I'll talk more about that in my actual nuke launching video. But just know that this is important when you're launching nukes should always check this before you decide to go to a silo and run it. And then right here on the side is going to be these terminals right here. And we can go ahead and access this terminal. And we can go to schematic archives. And then there's going to be the prototype power armor schematics. And this is how you get the X01 power armor plans. I've already accessed it and learned them. But once you access this, you'll go ahead and learn all the plans. And you'll be able to craft yourself a full set of X01 power armor. Um, but that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If you got stuck on any of the quest steps, let me know, and I'll try to help you out. Stay tuned for more content. I'll be making um, a nuke silo video soon that will kind of be a follow-up to this one. That way you guys can learn how to launch nukes. And uh, I'll also talk about the best nuke spots and um, optimal nuke aiming and that sort of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time.